Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday security update. For both Windows 11 25H2 and Windows 11 24H2, because 25H2, as I have mentioned previously, is built on top of 24H2 using an enablement package. So the update is exactly the same for both versions. Now here's the update, KB5066835. And once the update has been applied for Windows 11 25H2, the OS build will be sitting on 26,200.6899. And if you are running 24H2, that'll be 26,100.6899. Now, first and foremost, the security updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of the month are just that. They fix security issues. And for Windows 11 24H2, 124 vulnerabilities have been patched. Two of those are critical. And for version 25H2, 116 vulnerabilities have been patched. Two are critical. And both those critical for both versions are listed as heat buffer overflow vulnerability and elevation of privilege vulnerability. So 124 for 24H2 vulnerabilities have been patched and 116 have been patched for 25H2. So quite a lot going on there under the hood with security issues being sorted out. Now with that out of the way, this update will also include and contain fixes and quality improvements. And I say quality improvements very cautiously. That were part of this update, KB5065789, the update has caused a couple of issues that rolled out for both versions towards the end of last month, which was the optional bug fix C release update. And I did a whole video on the update. It was quite a big update. I'll leave it linked. If you'd like to get much more in-depth information, it'll be down below and in the end screen. But just a very quick recap for the purpose of this video. First of all, it includes click-to-do improvements. You can now move the hardware indicators for brightness, volume, airplane mode to different positions on your screen. So for that, you would just head to System, Notifications, scroll down to the bottom of the page. And here you can see Position on Screen Indicators. Check the video out for more information. It includes AI actions in the File Explorer to edit images or summarize documents. I think that's rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs as well. It removes the accent color, the accent colored backplate behind packaged app icons in the open with list when right clicking a file. So just to demonstrate, if I right click open with those backplates behind those icons for packaged apps have been removed. And I actually think that's a nice UI improvement. And the next one is a nice move if you are using Windows Share, where you can now pin your favorite apps in the Windows Share window. And heading back to Settings System, there's a new advanced settings page in Settings, which I think is a nice move, especially if you are a developer. And for the next one, I'm just going to head to Word because there's quite a lot going on here, but you can insert dashes with new keyboard shortcuts. You can also quickly insert an N dash or an M dash while typing. And you can just pause the relevant timestamp for the video if you want to check out what's going on there. And Narrator now includes Braille Viewer. So that's a nice accessibility improvement. You can now use Plugin Credential Manager for pass keys. More time, language, and keyboard settings have moved from control panel to settings. Check the video out for more info. It also fixes a known issue and includes many other numerous bug fixes and much more. Video will be linked as mentioned. So that's just a quick overview. Now, over and above all of that, Microsoft has rolled out a couple of fixes and improvements as part of this Patch Tuesday update itself. So just to mention these quickly. The update addresses an issue that caused the print preview screen to stop responding in Chromium-based web browsers. So that would be like Chrome, Brave, Edge, Vivaldi. They fixed an issue that occurred when users signed into a Windows device using only a gamepad at the lock screen. There are two fixes for PowerShell. The update addresses an issue that affects the setup process for Windows Hello face recognition when using USB infrared camera modules. And there's a removal for compatibility where the update removes the LTMDM 64.sys driver. Microsoft says that fax modem hardware dependent on the specific driver will no longer work in Windows. And that's across the board for Windows 10 and Windows 11. 
So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest Patch Tuesday security update for both Windows 11 24 and 25 H2 KB 5066835. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.